The topic of this video is combining similar terms. And this is something that often we do in algebra. So here's an algebraic expression. It has some numbers in it and some variables. And just as a reminder, similar terms, when we see this topic, we're looking at terms or pieces that have exactly the same variable part. So for example, if I look at this expression, 3a and 2a are considered similar terms. And so we can combine them together. So one of the ways I like to think about this, I like to think about this kind of like you're in the grocery store. So for example, if you have three apples and then you add two apples to your basket, in the end you're going to have five apples. So to combine those similar terms, we have 3a plus 2a and we get 5a. Now the other two terms in this expression are also similar. So here we have 7b minus b. Sometimes that hangs people up. They think, well, how do I subtract those? Do the b's go away or what happens with those? If you're uncomfortable, remember that you can always put a 1 in front because that's how many b's are there, just 1. So if you have 7b minus 1b, there's going to be 6 left. So again, combining similar terms, you just make sure that the variable parts are exactly the same. And then you can combine the numbers in front. So 3 plus 2 is 5. Here, the variable parts are exactly the same. 7 minus 1 is 6. So here, why don't you try this one? Okay, so let's take a look at this one here. So here we have 5x, and notice down here we have a negative 5x as well. So if you can combine those, and if you have 5 minus 5, you get 0, so there'll be no x's left. Here we have 2y's and minus y, and again, if you'd like, you can put a 1 here if it'd make you feel more comfortable, and 2 minus 1 is 1. So in this one, our answer is going to be 1y, which you can write like that, or similarly, you can also write an equivalent answer. You could just write y. So this way or this way, both of those would be correct. And that's how you combine similar terms.